Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can achieve a dynamic behavior based on the stack bar chart that you have. So right now we see the different stacks like uh, for segment, consumer, corporate and home office. So generally you create what you do is in the legend you put it for example if I just remove this uh, what you do is you, you bring in let's say the region over here and that's how you usually create it. But what I want to show is how you can make these stack dynamic. For example, if I just remove this and I bring in the my dynamic dimension, which I had already created and I'll show you how you can even do this. So what I'm doing is I'm basically enabling this slicer where I can select the region. So it is changed by region. If I select product name, it is changed by product name. So clearly for technology, uh, your 3D system and cube printer. So that's how very quickly you get the pattern about your products, right? Similarly for this one, office supplies clearly 24 capacity maxi data uh, binder racks is the highest selling one followed by this particular product. Similarly for furniture, this is the highest selling one. So you can very easily do all of this analysis or like ship mode. You want to understand this by ship mode, by state, whatever you want, you can very easily you know make this analysis so this is what we are giving the power in the hand of the end users where they are simply uh, based on the need going in and doing the analysis rather than you waiting for you as a developer uh, who is who needs to go in change it no say simply go in and start doing the analysis all right so how we can achieve it i will show you very quickly and before that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know that all of my Power BI videos is in my Google Sheet, which you can access very easily. So let me show you where it is. All right, so here is my Google Sheet for which the link is present, as you can see it over here. The link is present here and uh, you can simply go in and utilize all of my videos, which is right now I'm on my 246th or 245th video. So you can utilize all of this by simply searching it, like these people are utilizing it right now, right? So you can come here, search it, and based on the link which is present in column B, you can jump on my video. Also, I have some exercises over here, close to some 10, 15 different exercises based on the website Workout Wednesday, where the link video title, the video link, my solution and the exercise link where they have also given their solution is also present. So you can simply utilize this for your benefit for, um, you know, doing the exercises for your uh, power case. So with that, let me just move it away. Not this one. Uh, this is a heat. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, for that very quickly, what do we need is a uh, basically in the modeling that we need a parameter parameter for field. So whatever dimensions we want, we can basically bring it not this one, but from here, whatever your table is there. Uh, so this is a superstore table and in the superstore table, let's say category, city, uh, customer name, whatever dimension you want, you bring in product name and uh, give it a name called uh, legend dynamic, something like this or dynamic legend, whatever feels better for you, D-Y-N-M-I-C, okay, perfect. So this becomes relevant that we will uh, use this as a dynamic behavior for our legend. So this is the dynamic legend field. Now I select this and uh, rather than this one, what I'll do is bring in this dynamic legend and uh, you can see right now category is the dimension and category is the legend. That's why you are seeing each no legend over here, but I change it to city. It changes to city or customer name changes to customer name or product name it changes to product. So with that, you can be as creative as you want and get the best out from your one single chart. That way you will be giving the power into the hands of the business users to get the maximum output from your charts. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with similar examples. I'm going to post a lot of these dynamic behavior videos based on the different scenarios that we can have in the charts. And you can utilize this, uh, this information by following my video. Make sure you subscribe it and hit the bell button so that you get the notification right away. With that, thank you so much for watching. Let's meet in the next video.